Hello everyone, back again with me, Dante from Dante's Book Talk with another book review. This time it's another novel by David Baldacci from the John Puller series and that is The Escape. Basically, this is a crime, conspiracy, mystery, thriller, suspense, spy novel. You can still probably add some other genres into the mix because there are lots and lots of things going on in this novel. But first of all, I know, two novels by David Baldacci uh, in a row, just back to back. I'm, I'm sorry. And to be honest with you, the reason for this is because I want to get into the third novel in the Athlete Mind series, uh, that is Daylight. But the novel features John Puller, whose series unfortunately ended in 2016, so two years before the first novel in the Athlete Mind series came out. So, since I don't want to get spoiled, I've decided to finish the entire series, uh, I mean the John Puller series first, then I'll jump straight into the third novel in the Athlete Mind series. And that's pretty much the reason why. But don't worry, because I can promise you that next week I'm going to review a different book. Um, it's going to be a Tartan Noir novel. My first Tartan Noir novel, and that is called Granite by Stuart McBride. So stay tuned for that one. Now, with the introduction and apology out of the way, let's talk about The Escape. So, the story of The Escape begins when Robert Puller, John Puller's brother, escapes from the most secure and supposedly the most inescapable prison in America. John Puller, uh, who is a chief warrant officer, you know, working for the United States Army Criminal Investigation Division, is tasked with finding and bringing his brother back. Unfortunately, not only is it a difficult task, apparently uh, Robert's escape is only the tip of the iceberg. And the reason for this is because as he investigates the matter further, he starts to unearth uh, some troubling uh, information and evidence that lead him to believe that there is a national threat looming over his country. So the first good thing about this novel is the fact that the mystery in this novel is quite complex. Essentially, it's not only about how Robert Puller uh, manages to escape from the most secure prison in America. There are also other people involved in his escape and then in addition to that there are also spies you know, that have their own agenda and definitely working for the other side. And like I mentioned earlier, uh, there's also a national threat looming over America. In addition to all of that, Robert's conviction is also questionable, you know, because there is some evidence that suggests uh, that yes, Robert Puller is a traitor, but there is also some evidence that suggests that no, Robert Puller is not a traitor. And overall, these elements just uh, keep the story interesting and engaging this novel is also quite fast-paced, although not as fast-paced as his other novels because again, this one is definitely much more complex than some of his other novels. This novel is also filled with lots and lots of twists and turns, just like uh, other novels by David Baldacci, basically. The novel is also quite suspenseful because like I mentioned earlier, there is a threat looming over America, but we don't really know what it is and when it's going to happen. And things also become more uncertain because there are uh, spies among our main character. The escape is also heavy with the theme of family, you know, how your family can be used against you and then how far will it go for your family. There is also a theme of loyalty or I guess you can say patriotism. These two themes are not necessarily uh, something that we haven't read or seen you know, in movies or in novels before. But although that's the case, I think David Baldacci uh, did a great job with these two themes. Because essentially, these are the two main things that John Puller deals with in the novel. On one side, he's loyal to his country, but on the other side, he knows that if he brings his brother back to face justice, his brother will uh, probably get a death sentence. Because not only is his brother a traitor who escaped from most secure prison ever, his brother also does something terrible. This terrible thing actually happens earlier in the novel, but I don't want to spoil it because it's actually quite mind-blowing. There are also some uh, good bro moments between John Puller and Robert Puller that I love. And I also love seeing Robert Puller in action because I had been looking forward to seeing him in action since I first uh, got to know this character back in the first novel, uh, Zero Day. Robert Puller is just an interesting character who is as skillful and as formidable as John Puller and even more intelligent than John Puller, especially when it comes to cyber uh, security, technology, and anything nuclear related. There are some good action scenes in this novel and there is also this one amazing and awesome and just overall great car chase scene as well. And lastly, this novel also sheds some light on John Buller's family that is actually quite mysterious, especially his mother. 
I guess the history of his family and his mother will be the main focus of the next novel and that is No Man's Land. And I can't definitely wait to get into that one as well. And so yeah, those are some of the pros of this novel. And as always, before we get into the cons, don't forget to subscribe and turn the notification bell on so that you will be notified whenever I upload a new video. And if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like and share it as well, because with that, you will definitely help this channel to grow. So thank you. So the first negative thing about this novel deals with the fact that there are just way, way too many abbreviations for military organizations, departments, and intelligence agencies, such as uh, NSA, STRATCOM, INSCOM, IRS, OSI, CID, and some more. And there are also some other abbreviations for other things as well, such as uh, N. SC, National Security Council, and then WMD, Weapon of Mass Destruction, TOD, Time of Death, and many more. Although David Baldacci uh, explains them at first, he's not going to do it every time, so you still have to wrap your head around uh, these abbreviations and actually remember them, which can be quite taxing. Next, there are just way too many corny and over-the-top, uh, you know, dialogues. And this is just one of those things that I've come to accept from David Baldacci. But despite uh, the corny and cheesy and over the top dialogues, I still think that if you can overlook uh, these uh, things, you can still at least have a good time reading this book. And lastly, there are a couple of things that you can say a little far fetched. And yeah, those are pretty much the negative things that I found from this novel. But overall, I truly had a great time reading this novel and although I know that uh, David Baldich's writing might not be the best, he definitely knows how to entertain his reader and in my opinion, The Escape deserves a 4.4 out of 5. So you can say that currently this is the second best novel by David Baldich, at least for me. And yeah, basically that's all that I have for today's video. And once again, don't forget to subscribe, turn the notification bell on, and also like and share this video as well. And I would like also to say thank you uh, for those of you who keep supporting this channel. And with that, my name is Dante from Dante's Book Talk. Thank you for watching and staying. I'll definitely see you in the next video. Bye-bye. <laughs>